Hey guys, um, just a bit of an intro really at the moment. It's uh, fairly hot, but well, I say it's so fairly hot. It's 75 in here, which is brilliant compared to what it's been. Uh, the humidity's down, so I hope to get a little bit done in here when I can get the time. Uh, this is one project, maybe a waste of time. Some people will probably think that already, but uh, I'm going to try and make up an inline air dryer just to improve drying. It's using some silica gel. I've got a bulk load of it. And I got this two inch nipple, a couple of end caps, and the idea is, and I don't know whether it's going to work, it may not be very effective, but I'm going to give it a try. So we'll drill the end caps and then on uh, one of them, we'll well braze in a long half inch, uh, no, uh, that's a quarter inch nibble, a long one, and then the, the other end will have a short one, so we've got two male ends for fitting. And this will cross drill, alternate, 90 degrees, lots of holes, probably eight, three sixteenths. And then I've got some screen. Uh, this is not in itself enough to stop the granules. But the plan is to use that plus um, I've got some stuff my wife dug out. It's a sort of canvas type of thing which won't give too much air resistance. So we'll have that in each end and then we'll also wrap this, completely wrap this all the way with um, the uh, fabric and screen and then fill this with, I don't know, three quarter full of granules and put that in line. It's probably going to be adequate I think for the uh, plasma cutter, 65, 70 psi, flow rate not too huge. Um, for the blast cabinet, probably it may give too much resistance, but anyway, that's, that's one plan at the moment. Now another thing on the list that I want to get done, I managed to get this little 3 inch chuck, 3 jaw, 4 jaw would be nice, but anyway this was really pretty reasonable, it's an import, and this uh, Four inch rotary table, very mini, but I think it'll suit me for some jobs. So what I've got to do, I've cut a very approximate circle out of eighth plate. Uh, it's um, hot rolled stuff. I got rid of most of the mill scale. I'm going to drill that. I'm not sure what size yet. Put it on a mandrel, turn it down, and then we'll have that on there to give me um, a chuck mounting. Doesn't leave me much clearance but it's only going to be for milling. Mind you I'm sitting on the vise at the moment which brings me to the other idea. Um, I'm going to machine this piece of aluminum bar and do the same as, uh, I forget who did it now, I've seen more than one person do it. So we'll mount, mount the bar to the uh, bottom of the rotary table which will then allow it to be put in the vise just for a quick job. Otherwise I would actually remove the main vise and, and fit this instead. So that's, uh, that's what I'm thinking of at the moment. Just uh, get some little chores out of the way. working on the base plate for that little chuck. It doesn't look very nice this material but in fact it's running pretty true and I've got about another about another 70 thou, get it down to 4 inch. I may clean off a bit more of that scale later. It's running pretty good, the only thing that looks funny from your angle is that washer was fractionally oversized and this was fortunately a 1 inch mandrel that I had spare 
So I've got a one inch hole in there for now, which I've got to enlarge out to uh, 548 because I've already made this little piece, this little stepped piece, which goes into the, uh, what's that go into? That goes into the rotary table center, smaller diameter, larger diameter between the T slots, and this goes into the back of the chuck. So it's a bit, a little bit tedious and uh, hot rolled, hot rolled steel, hate it. I just haven't got any cold rolled plate, which is annoying. This doesn't like, I get sparks from this damn stuff. As you can see, I think the chips are very blue. And this is a fairly fresh tool, which I'm probably ruining by using it. So I'm just working away to uh, drop things. <laughs> so let's see where we are. I've got about another 50,000 to go, I expect, and it's not critical. So, uh, yeah, it's about 50 thou, just to get a nominal 4-inch disc. I won't bother you with the rest, it's very tedious. Only taking about 5 to 8 thou cuts, because it's uh, such nasty stuff. You know sometimes how the simplest of jobs, the ones that seem simple, become a pain in the butt. <laughs> so having got the outside of this turned down, I got back in the drill press. I haven't unfortunately got anything. I think 25 64 would have got me very close, but I don't have a drill or reamer that size. So, in fact, it was probably best that I uh, uh, put a little boring bar in. Got probably a slightly better truth. I've just got, it's just probably actually a thou over. But that should help me get centered. I've got a deeper the other side. And then um, I hadn't got any. I hadn't got any uh, center bolts to use on the back of the chuck, which I shall have to use probably. So may not be able to go a lot further with that until I get the chuck fitted to it. But of course all the hassle of changing the jaws to the reverse jaws, which is why it's a pain in the butt. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not sure what I mentioned earlier. I <laughs> say centre bolts. I meant transfer screws. Yeah, I'm waiting for transfer screws so I can get the chuck set up properly. So uh, we've got a mounting plate and put that through and into the rotary table I should be very tight for space for uh, nuts on the on what will be my T-bolts. I think I can just about squeeze them in. A little bit tight. But uh, it's going to be very useful just for small jobs. I've got my old rotary table, but it's a pain in the thing to use. And uh, I think this will serve quite well. I've got reverse jaws for it. And for just now and again, it'll be handy. But uh, I'll get on and prepare this piece of aluminum to use as a vice mounting block. I've just taken a cut of about uh, three thou I think, two and a half, three thou, 
got this new cutter, it's a cheapy, well I say cheapy, it's an import, inch and a half face mill, very nice finish, very nice finish. So I'm going to do the other side, so I'm not sure about the ends, I might just clean those up separately. Well apart from the uh, finger marks, now I've handled it. Quite pleased with the finish from that uh, indexable. And the ends I've just uh, side milled just to tidy them up. So I'm going to get this marked up and uh, get a couple of holes in it to tap for the uh, centres on the rotary. Just thought I'd throw this in. My first really acid test for the uh, DRO. I'm working on centres that measured out at 4 inches 235. So I centre drilled both. Finished the left hand hole and uh, ready for tapping. And now I've come back to zero and I'm working on this one. And it appears there's no deflection on the drill and we're back where we should be. blind holes really but it's a damn sight easier for tapping if I go right through. So we're going to get these tapped and fitted to the underneath of the uh, rotary. Well this is a wrap for the time being I think. I've got the uh, I've got this fitted up. Hole centers worked out just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Thanks to my DRO. <laughs> that was a treat. Absolute treat. So if I, <coughs> if I fit that in there, I've got uh, nice easy use. It won't be much good for drilling, particularly when I put the chuck on. And this was what uh, This is what we did before. That's my registration pin. And then the chuck. So I'm waiting on transfer of pins so we can get the. Uh, that's a good fit in there. So I can get the, we've got one, two, uh, three, three screws for that. And as this is only eighth plate, I'll have to get some uh, countersunks. These are six by one. I'll get some countersunks and uh, that'll take care of the mounting plate. So I quite look forward to using that actually. Obviously, as I said before, just for drilling. The other project that I haven't started on yet is the uh, um, dryer, air, airline dryer with the desiccant. Purely experimental. Might be a total waste of time, but I'm going to try and uh, start making that up soon. So I'll probably record a bit of that, but I think we'll call a halt on this for the moment. Make my videos too long, don't I, sometimes? So for the time being, whilst it's slightly cooler, there's more hot coming by the way, <laughs> which is not good news. But uh, anyway, yes, for now, thanks for watching. <laughs>